Welcome to this first part. So in this part we're gonna create our divs. In the end x.php we're gonna put our HTML5 doc type, our HTML tags, the head section, we're gonna add a title, we're gonna say chat box, close title, the body, and we close the body tags. So in here we're gonna create our first div with class chat. In there we're gonna create another div with class messages and a text area with class post. Like so if we refresh the page we've got our text area. We're gonna add some style between the head and the head section. We're gonna style chat messages class. We're gonna put width of 300 px, height of 320, a border of 1 px solid black, and a padding of 10 px. We're gonna style our post text area, width of 300 px, height of 30 px, and a padding of 10 px and a margin top of 5 px, like so. If we refresh the page, we've got this. Perfect. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna create a connection with our database. So in the connect.php file, we're gonna add our php tags. So our try block catch exception if we've got any error and in try block we're gonna create our connect variable it's gonna be new pdu and in here mysql host it's gonna be localhost db name is chat and the username is root and we don't have any password in the cache section we're gonna die error like so concatenate and append a message to the user if we've got any error like this and in here we're gonna link our jQuery file so script script src js jQuery JS and we're gonna cut some jQuery script in here. So that's it for the first part. I'll see you in the second one. Welcome to the second part. In this part we're gonna put some jQuery code in there. So we're gonna ready 